side dishes, salads, sometimes they become monotonous and stuff. So you wanna get creative. And I love this new season that we're going into, spring, fresh veggies. You can really showcase fresh ingredients. And one of the things I love buying are baby carrots. These, the ones that look like Eva cartoon with the green top on. So I always use them for like crudite, like veggie platters. Um, and then I love roasting them. You can roast them all. Um, I would not blanch them beforehand. I wanna keep a nice crunch. So I'm gonna show you this great fresh side dish or salad that you can take to someone's house. You can add on for Easter dinner um, as a side. Super clean, super delicious. Let's talk about what's gonna go into our salad. So we're gonna use the baby carrots. I'm gonna split mine in half. We are going to roast them in the oven with some garlic and shallots so that they get nice and crispy. I think it just adds depth of flavor to um, the dish. Then, what is a salad without its dressing? And that is the key component here, it is going to be, I'm gonna use Greek yogurt with herbs. I got basil, cilantro, and parsley, fresh lemon juice, finishing it with a little bit of feta, but I'm gonna whip that together, kind of drizzle over our carrots once they're uh, roasted. You can serve it over spinach or watercress or arugula. And then the end, adding some chopped Marcano almonds. I can't have these at home. I eat them all the time. So they are delicious. They're in the cheese section usually. Super salty component. Crunch aspect, I can eat the whole roll like in seconds. But this is gonna be beautiful. So first things first, we just gotta get our carrots roasting. I get a, a lined sheet pan and I do everything on there. So we don't need like six bowls. Um, the carrots, like I said, I am literally just splitting them in half and throwing them on the sheet pan. I think if you leave them whole, it's a little too much. They're a little too big. And I think that the outside cooks and the inside still stays a little raw because the carrots are all different sizes. If you get a big mamma jamma like one of these compared to this, split it in fourths then. Um, yeah, I would definitely cut these down into fourths because they're bigger. Uh, if you don't have the baby carrots with the stem, feel free to use regular carrots. If not, even get the rainbow carrots. They have those. Get the rainbow carrots, that's really, really pretty, especially when they get all roasted up. I'm using one whole shallot, so I split it in half, and now I'm gonna go a long ways like this, and they're kind of like half moons, but super thin. And the reason I'm doing it this way is so that when I put them on the sheet pan, let me show you, I can open them up and sprinkle them across. They will end up getting nice and crispy in the oven. And with our garlic, I'm gonna go nice, thin, slices. I want to see it. I love seeing garlic in food. So I'm going to do that one whole shallot and I'm doing five uh, cloves of garlic. So olive oil, you can see the shallots, the garlic, the carrots, drizzle a good amount of olive oil on top. Just going to season lightly, a little bit of salt and pepper. I do believe in seasoning in layers. Um, even though we're making a vinaigrette and we'll season our salad or greens later, Season the food as you go. These in the oven, 415 minutes. We want a nice crunch on them. So let's make the dressing now. Get in a big bowl, even though I have everything portioned out. Um, you can mop this up however you like, whatever herbs you like. At home, I have basil and cilantro. Um, I didn't want to put dill in it because it would remind me too much of like a tzatziki sauce going the Greek style. So I use Greek non-fat plain yogurt. I always have it at home. I use this instead of sour cream on my taco bowls. Um, I use this all the time actually, and I put it in a lot of dressings to give that creamy effect. When I make our homemade ranch, I use the non-fat Greek yogurt. So this is around a little bit over a cup and a half. Just gonna drop that in there. The juice of two whole lemons, it's gonna be tart and bright. Carrots have a natural sweetness to it. Um, this is, I would say this was like 10 leaves of basil. I just ship an eye, which if you watch my videos, you know how to do, a thin slice. And half a bunch of parsley, half a bunch of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, it's like a pin, picky eater sometimes don't like that. Use a different herb. Um, so mixing this together, salt and pepper. I'm gonna taste it and then set it aside because this is what's gonna get drizzled over our carrots. Super easy, super light dressing. Um, don't be scared to put salt in here. Greek yogurt has very plain flavors. Salt and pepper, don't be scared um, 
to season it, Greek yogurt, obviously it's plain, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, and I'm drizzling just a little bit of good olive oil at the end. Oh, right now I want like a piece of bread, like naan or something. You can kind of say how it all comes together. It's a nice vinaigrette. The acid from the lemon and the creaminess from the yogurt, it gives you this like pop of flavor and it's perfectly seasoned. So we're gonna let this sit. Let's get our carrots on a plate so that we can put this whole side dish together. Super easy. Oh, also, almost forgot, your almonds. You're gonna, you can do it two ways. You can put them in a Ziploc baggie and bag them out. You can eat them. Or just a rough chop with your knife. Just like that. A little rough chop. So you don't wanna put the big things. I like a mix. I'm gonna use some big, some chopped. Carrots came out of the oven, nice and crunchy still. So I'm just putting some spinach down. I think you can use any kind of greens you like for salad. If you wanna do it with arugula, if you wanna do it with watercress. Um, I just wouldn't do it with like a bib lettuce. I wanna use something with like a little bit more integrity. Um, so, kale, kale, get some kale on here. Putting the carrots down, I'm kinda of making them look pretty down the line of my plate. Uh, we're all about family style here, so everyone shares, so the big platter is the way to go on the table. Um, you could do this before you go to someone's house for a party and just finish it there or walk in with it completely done. And make sure you get all of the shallots that are on the bottom of the pan. You put those all on top, kind of like your little garnish throughout. Um, okay. What are we doing next? Next, our yogurt sauce. Let me get a spoon, let me get a better spoon. Our yogurt sauce, I'm just gonna, whoop. I got a wrench just there. Um, just gonna kinda drip it right over the top. This is great in the fridge for the whole entire week. You can dress salads with it, you can do whatever you need. I know that we're gonna use this, and for like a veggie dip too. So, Greek sauce right on top. I'm crumbling some feta. Oh yeah. A little bit of feta and then our Marcano almonds garnishing right on top for that crunch aspect and the saltiness. And I love these almonds if you didn't know. All right, let's dig in. Give you from this angle. So our roasted carrots on top of some spinach with our Greek herb sauce, toasted Marcano almonds chopped up, our crispy shallots. So I don't wanna like dive into this because we're actually gonna put it out and I don't wanna make it look messy since it's pretty, but I will sneak this one. Oh my God, that is so good. It is really good. And screaming, screaming spring. Like, screaming spring. And the crunch, the carrots, the sweetness, the acid and the vinaigrette that we put on top. All right, we got a good salad. If you make it, let me know. Tag us. Follow us on YouTube for the full recipe if you don't find it on here. But enjoy. Try our spring fling salad. I don't know what to call it. I love it, though. I have to take one more.